So I'm going to follow these lines, but it's going to curve just a little bit. It's kind of bumpy. It's going to go in and then back out to that line. So it goes in just a little bit and back out to that line. Then I'm going to go down and it's going to make two little bumps that go down like that. And then this is going to come right back up to that line. Okay. And then this side's going to bump a little bit. Little bumpy, little bumpy, little bumpy. And then right here, this part, we're going to stop following the edge because it doesn't quite go out that far, but it's still going to go kind of close. About like that. And then it's going to curve. We're going to curve it from here gently down to the bottom. So watch. It's going to curve gently down to the bottom. And then it's going to have a line over. And it's going to actually halfway down, it's going to step down a notch. And then go over to the end. And connect back up. See how I did that? It follows that line. Step down. And then it goes over and connects back up here. Alright, and then over here we're going to make a bump that comes outside the line a little bit. And it's going to follow along it, just a little bump, a little bump. And then it's going to curve inside a little, just a little bump inside like that. There's a little bay there. And then there's going to be a curve that goes in, and this is actually going to go inside like that. So it curves like that, almost like a half circle there, curving in. And then there's a little bump back out, and then in again. And then we're going to draw a loop around, and it's going to come back, and it's going to curve and hit this sidewall, just like that. Hit this sidewall. So now it does something a little weird. It's going to go break through that wall, and it's going to go down, like that. And we're going to do two little bumps, bump, bump, just like that. It's going to curve up just a tiny bit and back down. Then we're going to do bump, bump, and then we're going to connect it down here. So you can see we have the lower peninsula now. So actually once you're done with that lower peninsula you can erase this pentagon shape you made. That's why you drew those lines nice and lightly. So you can erase those out. I'm going to erase this one out. Erase all those, just the pentagon shape, the practice lines that you made. We're going to erase those all away. And if you accidentally erase some of your lines, you can fix them. You can just go back in and draw them in there gently. Now I think that this looks pretty good. I think that maybe this curve is a, it's a little too far in. It's a little too skinny, so I'm going to fix it. Because we're artists, we can make changes to our work. We can fix it, right? So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit, and I'm going to curve it so it's so that my state's a little bit fatter because it looks a little too skinny right now for the lower peninsula. And I think that looks much better. So now I have my lower peninsula drawn. And you can look back and forth. I've got the one drawn on the board. So if you want to look and see any areas that you want to fix, maybe you want to kind of round this out a little more. You can do that. Round it out a little more. Because you'll notice on there it's a little rounder. But I think this looks like a pretty good Michigan. Now it's time for the upper peninsula. So we're going to use our guy line again. And we're going to start right over here and create a curve over that kind of follows the edge of our kite shape. And it's going to go down and then back over. And then we're going to keep going. It's going to curve up and down. So it curved up and it touches this line. And we're going to make a little indent like that and then another little one like that 
And then this next part's gonna come down quite a way, so it's gonna actually go through down to the bottom like that. It's almost lined up here, you can see. And then it's gonna curve around and back up. And then this line's gonna follow almost exactly along here, like that. And then this little point here, it's gonna be just a little bump, bump, like that. And then this one's going to angle up like that one's doing. It's going to have a little bump. And then it's going to have another little bump. And then it's actually going to go right off the edge of that corner. And it's going to loop around and bump. And go down like that. And then we're going to do another indent with a bump. Indent. And kind of a wide bump like a, like a hill. We're going to do a little bump, a little bump, and then a long bump, and a little bump, and close it off. Now I'm looking at this, I think it's, it's pretty good, but I think that maybe, because I know that the top of this is supposed to line up with this because this um, is where the Mackinac Bridge is. It goes right here. So I think that this actually needs to be moved over a little. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to bring this bump all the way over here until it hits there and then go up and bring it out from there and that little bump there. And I think that looks pretty good. And I want you to look at this and look at the map of Michigan I have up on the board and see if there's any areas you think that you need to fix. Anything that looks like it's not quite right. And you can fix it because you are um, geographers. You're learning about the map of Michigan and you're learning about all the different things in Michigan in your class. So I want you to look and see if there's anything you think you need to fix. I think I'm going to bring this line up a little because I think that that one got a little bit too too low. So I'm going to bring that up a little and erase this line right here. I think that looks a little bit better. Just like that. So I'm going to look and see. I, th I think that's pretty good. I've got a little bit of a space there for the bridge. And then I'm going to add over here, I'm going to add Mackinac Island right there. And actually, there's a little tiny island next to Mackinac Island called Round Island. And there's another one next to that called Boys Blank Island. So I'm going to draw all three of those islands over there. And I know there's other islands around, but I like those islands because I vacation on Mackinac Island once in a while. And my sister-in-law lives or used to live on Boys Blank Island. So I've been up there quite a bit. So I drew those because I'm using the things that I know about Michigan to add details to my work. And I want you to do the same thing. So if you have something that you think is important, maybe there's a spot where you vacation and you know that there's a lake there, you could add that into your map. Great job drawing Michigan. Oh, don't forget before we um, stop to erase those guidelines that we drew in the beginning. So I'm going to erase all those guidelines around there. Erase those guidelines. And then we're done.